saint. Righteous bondage. Greetings to thee, Arc Saint here, and welcome to another First Impressions video. In this video we're checking out Wolsen, Lords of Mayhem. This game is an action RPG, uh, like uh, Diablo or Grim Dawn, Path of Exile. Um, it's been in the works for many years. I saw it a long time ago, and it seems like it's shaping up pretty good. Uh, currently in alpha, but I guess they're working on getting it into beta, so this is an early access game. It just looked uh, good enough to where I was comfortable uh, throwing down uh, some cash, so it was like 16 bucks um, on sale, and so I, I imagine once it's released, uh, price is probably going to go up a bit, but um, game looks gorgeous uh, from, from what I've seen. But yeah, when is it uh, considered safe to to jump into an early access game? <laughs> Sometimes I just go with a gut feeling to where uh, it looks looks like it's headed in a good direction, and they the devs are talking enough and updating it enough to where I, I think it's going to turn out okay. So who knows? But yeah, let's let's jump into this. Uh, recently, there's like a you know, Blizzard Diablo Immortal fiasco, and, and people are all freaking out about that. And for some reason, that made me want to play an action RPG again. And, uh, so I actually jumped into Path of Exile, but the camera in that game, at that and the, the whole gem system, just really turns me off. Um, I have, had a really difficult time trying to jump into that game. So I thought I'd try a new one out, because I've played Grim Dawn to death. And, uh, and here we are in Wolsen. <laughs> Um, first impressions video, I play a game for the first time, give you my first impressions, kind of sum things up at the end. Again, this is an alpha, so we shall see. Character creation. So, uh, male, female. I really like this. There's not base classes that you pick from, and, uh, you know, you get... Classes that are gender locked, absolutely hate that. Uh, so this is seems like it's taking the Grim Dawn approach, where you just pick a base, male or female, and then as you play through the game, you you level up through class trees and whatnot. So <laughs> it's pretty cool what you can make. Uh, let's just do average in the middle. Not too buff, not too skinny. Let's go with that. Uh, hair. Not a whole lot of hair options at the moment. But uh, you know me, I try to make my avatar, so... Uh, Oh, the volcano going there. It's cool you can get that detailed and you'll be zoomed out for most of the game, but um They got beard options, plus one for beard options. Very nice. Still not a whole lot of options, this alpha, but uh I think we could probably roll with uh roll with that. Mr. McGruff. Yeah. Character name shall be uh, Arxart. And uh, off we are. Okay, cool. Let's play uh, level one. Welcome to the Alpha. Yes. Now in the uh, the Steam page it, it says single player, but they are working on uh, getting multiplayer going, uh, co-op and so forth. So otherwise, that would be a pretty big negative. Yep.
Alright, no uh, backstory yet. At least I know. <laughs> See how far I can zoom in here. That's nice. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, Path of Exile is way too zoomed in for my liking. Anyhow, let me, um... Okay. I know you can roll out of the way uh, for, like, attacks and stuff. I'm not sure what the keys are at the moment. Perhaps there is a tutorial. Yep, tutorial. <laughs> Disables, yeah. It's a book. Tome Fireball, Tome Lightning Strike. Ooh, let's go Lightning Bolt. Uh, that's our spell book. Okay. Okay, how do I equip the Lightning Bolt? I know it's not. Oh, space is a dodge key. Aha! Yeah, nice. Um, and it drains stamina. So, I guess these little orb here are the stamina. Okay, cool. Undead. What do we got here? We got uh, one-handed combo and then brutal strike. Not enough rage. <laughs> so I have a rage meter and is that is that mana? I don't know. Uh, what does this button do? I'm, yeah, it's not, I know with naught. And rotate the camera. Oh, really? Uh, okay, that's cool. So you're not totally locked in. At uh, one angle. Water is a key element for elemental interactions. Fire, lightning, and frost are affected by water and rain in many ways. Okay, so your abilities are affected by the environment. That's nice. I need to find out how to use my lightning bolt. Whoops, I think I went to a place where I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> Gates of... or Gate of Fates. Um... Arcanist, Guardian, Thief, Hunter, uh, Legionary. That's interesting. So this is basically the five classes. And then you go from there. Um, am I being attacked? I am being attacked. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to look at the skill thing. I don't know what the orbs are I'm picking up either, but uh, so this really reminds me of uh, Path of Exile, and that was actually a pretty big turnoff for me in Path of Exile because man, it's like you really had to plan your character out, and so you end up like studying a screen like this for a long time, and, and just to jump into a game and play uh, it didn't seem very. Uh, friendly for for casual type gaming not that I that's a big deal but I don't want to have to do like a whole bunch of research before I play a character uh, that's just me so somewhere between that and Diablo 3's I just level the character up for you is kind of a sweet spot so 
We'll see how this goes. I don't know if this actually involves getting abilities. This pretty much just seems like passive stuff. Yeah, that just looks like passive stuff. This is the active tree. Okay, so that's cool at least. Let me, um, where's my, there's that book. Okay, so let's go unlock lightning, cast lightning, which arcs from your hands. Oh, that's cool. I got the volume turned down because I'm recording, but, oh. Just looks awesome. Okay, let's... I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> I do know I want to hit something with lightning now, though. Eat it! Yeah, lightning bolt! Awesome! So I'm talking about the graphics in this game are amazing. Not enough Umbra. That's it. So I guess Umbra is like the mana... Uh, not overly sure the direction I would take this character. Uh, obviously, I would go a paladin route. Uh, weapons do have the uh, sacred property. I was watching their um, oh shield, nice um, video on weapon properties and things like that. Um, sacred is like the holy one. Looked pretty cool. And it weakens enemies, so kind of like having the Conviction Aura on for a Paladin in D2. Okay, so I was wondering if your weapon disappeared when you did your Lightning Bolt. It takes away your shield. I would hope that... It's okay if they do that. I would just like the shield to appear on the back, so it's like you switched real quick. But not a big deal. I'm just really picky about stuff. Your character uses Umbra and Rage. The damage rage is generated. Weapons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already figured that one out. Well, I'm having fun with the lightning. The other abilities are half as cool. I would say this is going to be a win. Waits a strong enemy. Don't hesitate to switch between your spells and the melee to defeat him. Good luck. Charlie, good. Uh. Okay, check. Whoa. Yep. Cool. Locking in a room. All right. Uh. Locking me in a room full of undead. It's, it's okay, I guess. I also just realized I don't have any health potions. Or mana potions, for that matter. <laughs> it's kind of like when you're out of Umbra, you should use your rage. Which I'm totally doing now. What's going on? Oh, oh, that's that's not good. Oh, that's... Skull Crusher. Totally got me with that attack. Die! Oh! Oh, he wasn't that tough. <laughs> Uh, Brother Leon, my name is Leon, or Leon. Oh. Hey! What's happening? 
Well, let me take out these Zomborgs. Um, seeing that you escaped the Republic's prison, you're more curious, discuss that later, etc. and so forth. Okay. I think I missed the first thing he said, but... What prison waypoint located? Okay. So I think the story is you're like a commander or something, and then you develop magical powers. And so the Republic that you're a part of um, threw you in prison or something and tried to experiment on you. I think that's the story. Which I didn't even really have magical powers until I found that spell book. But whatever. Uh, okay. Is this where I am? And I'm supposed to go somewhere. Oh, maybe I'm... I don't know where I am. Ravencrest. Let's, let's go to Ravencrest. Ooh, very nice. Uh, close enough, Ravencrest this mountain. I guess it's your first time with waypoints, right? Don't worry, you'll soon be able to go precisely where you want to. For now, just follow the road straight ahead to Amerith. Very well, Liam. Let's get a look at this dude. That looks pretty cool. Hey. Do you have any pants? I guess I'm wearing pants, but anything? Kind of clothes or something? Is this guy following me now? Okay. Uh, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I'm actually moving on the big map. How about that? Linus. This guy have dialogue? No. Okay. Uh, oh, maybe he does. Did a nearby village before the undead came. We had a fleeing come here. Now the village is called Evergrave for the bones, where ancestors will feed the army of the deads forever. Alright. Could use a shop to buy things. That's a cool door. Oh! That's a nice village scenery. Oh, that looks like a vendor. Okay. Oh, I could even... It's like real time, too. How cool is that? Hooah! Um, from the map, I think that's... Looks like an inn or something. Very cool. I guess I can rotate this too, can I? Nice, nice, nice. Oh, I'm liking it! Uh, that looks like a quest giver. Are you selling things, archivist? Uh, you can sell your spell books to the archivist and earn knowledge. Knowledge can be used to increase your spell level. What is the currency in this game? Gems? That looks like gold coins. That looks like some kind of crystal or something. I don't know. What I do know is I need to get to a okay, jeweler. Yeah, just some basic merchant would be nice, I guess. Uh, primitive axe. I don't have any money. <laughs> what am I doing? Can I sell my... It's worth 13 gold. Yeah, that's going to be a no-go. Deep outfit. Okay. Well, well, this is cool. No potions. And that's your buyback. Well. Gotta see, but I'm not overly fond of having to rotate the camera. Uh, it's one of the reasons I like um, action RPGs is because it's a fixed camera. So it's just one thing you don't gotta mess with. But anyhow, innkeeper. Uh, I guess you can time travel. That's cool. Sure. Whoa. What? Oh, that's cool. There's even footprints. 
That's really nice. Okay, what do we got up here? Let's check out some other stuff. Uh, Gate of Fates. Ooh. Oh yeah, it just takes you here. That's cool. Um, battle Art, Hunting Ground, Infiltration. Iron Guard, or Spellbinder. Yeah. I'm guessing you can mix and match these. I did see a video where you can turn invisible. I'm guessing that's from this direction. The attack animations look awesome too with daggers. Eh, right. So maybe I'll just try to find that one brother dude and uh, go from there. Oh, okay, I clicked on a guy and something's happening. <laughs> what? What? Okay. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, I'm about to die. Labor! Oh, that got me some goldage. I like that. Well, now I can switch. Seems a little bit better. Hold on, let me see. I leveled up. And with this ring. Nice. Right, maybe I can buy some proper pair of pants. <laughs> uh, okay, stats, ferocity, toughness, agility, and willpower. So four of those. And, uh, attribute points remaining. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm weak in everything. Uh, let's go ferocity. Let's, let's make more of a melee dude. Uh, probably won't touch agility much, but definitely gonna have some miracles. So, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Confirmed. Ah, oh, there's so many. So many, so much number crunching in this game. That's nice. Uh, numbers, it might as well throw on the ring. Why not? Cool. That seemed like a, whoops. Uh, a paper doll for your character. Not enough. For, yeah. Okay. Strange. <laughs> What's going on with those guys' heads are all moving over at all? Okay. Oh, if you hit tab, you get the uh, Diablo style map appears over your character. That's nice. Toxic undead. Not toxic. Gibbs. Gibbage. Very nice. Orc for oh, there's orcs in this game. Oh, I didn't know that. That's nice. Yep. Oh, an orc charger. He's a tough dude, man. Oh, I like that. Oh, if you equip a shield, he he actually bashes with the shield. Oh, that is epic! I like the attack animation in this game, man. They're really well done. Um, I'm hitting Alt because I wonder if that makes the items on the ground appear. I'm just gonna blast you guys in case there's another charger. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Not enough umbral. No oh, man, I'm about to bite it. Die. Okay, so your health does slowly regenerate when outside of combat. That's fairly typical in games like this. 
I would like a potion though. I don't have potions. Oh, did I not fully level up? What's this? Oh yeah, okay, duh. I gotta <laughs> Um good so should be out okay, many points. Also rage spells and fury battle art. When battle art is in offensive mode, you generate rage. So defensive mode. Let me see it. Oh, okay, that's cool. Guardian. Oh, that actually kind of looks paladin-like. A little picture there. Perform a shield bash, which hits and stuns a single enemy. Hmm. So is the guardian kind of like the shield route? Inner shield. Can block all that. Yeah, it's kind of looking... If you want to go sword and board, this kind of looks like a path you want to take here. See, now what's weird to me is... I think there's a way to... to yeah! You need to stand next to the Gate of Fates so the Amarats will rotate. Yeah, see basically this... this or either this or the outside rings rotate. Which is cool because that means these outside abilities here uh, can essentially, like, if I choose this route, I don't have to end up with this. I can actually end up with that. I just gotta rotate the gate of fate, or the ring of fate. <laughs> oh, cool, you can choose which one to rotate. Very nice, that's interesting. Very int oh, you know what, I probably should choose something. Let's go the guardian route, just, just for shoots and ladders. Boom! Okay, whoa. Don't know what that did, but it looked cool. Um, okay, boom. And then, uh... Five defense. Uh, if all your equipped armor parts are of the heavy type. Okay. Well, I don't have heavy armor at the moment, though. To the top. So, can I go there? Okay, I can go there right now. Let's do that. Confirm. That's nice. Okay. Oh, my character had to reload. <laughs> Not enough rage. Was that a demon hunter thing in Diablo 3? Or was that anger? Not enough anger or fury or something? I can't remember. Regardless, it was stupid. <laughs> Back off, orc brutes! Very nice. I like killing orcs. What are they? What are they doing? Hanging out with undead, though. That's usually not a thing. So it seems like you can rush to the. Yeah, there's like a little charge rush, um, which has a cooldown, but that's cool. It gets you into the battle real quick, kind of like the Z uh, uh, the Zealot Rush in StarCraft too. Also, notice you just auto pick up gold when you run over it. I like that also. Um, definitely don't like having to click gold every time it drops. So more gold. How about that? Now I can. Uh, oh yeah, Alt does. Uh, Reveal what's on the ground. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay, that's a dead end. That's nice. <laughs> I don't know if that one guy I clicked on teleported me somewhere, or is this just like a hole in the ground I totally missed? But regardless, here I am. Come on, orcs! Level 3 already? That's a little crazy. multi enough Umbra. I don't know why I have 13. Oh, okay, because of the passive wheel. Gotcha! I gotcha! Alright. Uh, oh, defense regener defense regeneration. You know what? Uh, defense points you restore per second. When your defense is shattered by an external source, 
uh, expressed in percentage of total detons per second. Uh, also increases the duration of temporary defense boosts. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure of the how they're doing stuff in this game yet, but cool nonetheless. Uh, let's confirm that. Defense. Maybe I can find it here. Uh, Okay, defense. Your total <clears throat> defense capacity, which shields the part of your health pool, oh, that is within your defense range. By default, defense only protects from physical effects and is usually obtained through armor parts and shields. So there's like a shield over your health based on your defense? What's that about to do? Oh, town portal. That's kind of cool. Oh. Okay, you get three points per level. That's nice. Let's go toughness here. Uh, well, you know what? Maybe I, for this character, I would go Guardian and a Legionary. Nothing else really seems to work for that. That way I can get uh, both uh, defense and offense. Yeah. Try that. So that should give me <clears throat> um, active skill battle art. And that's an active skill iron guard. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes. So where? Okay, battle arts there. Can I drag that? I can't. Iron Guard requires a shield. I have a shield. Oh. Not enough charges. What? What? Okay, well I went to Battle Art. Well wait, they're both on. I don't... I don't know. Kinda looks like my character is a little slower. Maybe that's just me. Pretty easy so far, though. I'm not sure what these orbs are I'm picking up. Oh, jolly good! Um, gold ring, spade, staff, lightning, gladiator belt. Very cool. Um, damage. Uh, oh. Toxic. I'm dead. Stop. It's like it was draining my mana. Is that something I can pick up? No? Okay. Um. Staff of Lightning. Spade. Okay, well that's way better than what I was using. That looks like a spatula. <laughs> uh, or like in a boat or something. But it has more damage though, so I'm going to use it. Uh, gladiator belt. Yes. No physical animation. No animation for the gladiator belt. Which I did. Um, I want to actually try this staff. Oh man, look at that! How cool! Let's roll with this for a little bit. I know it's... Um, kind of built my character for melee, but... <laughs> just because I want to try stuff out. Um... Go staff. Oh yeah. This reminds me of uh, Dragon Age. He's like, oh whoa, what, what? 
Oh, back up. Oh, no! Oh, explodey bug undead thing. Ah. Okay, where's the last checkpoint? Well, at least I keep my stuff. <laughs> Strange. Finding staff combo. I was saying it reminds me of uh, Dragon Age 2. Is it 2? Um, how the mages would fight. Very, very animated. Very kind of monkish. Twirly twirl staffs and stuff. Um, which is cool. That game was horrible though. Uh, regardless, I now have things uh, I can sell. <laughs> so maybe I can buy some, some pants. Where's the guy? There we go. Okay. So this this. Um, where's where's your pants? Apprentice gown. I really don't want to get rid of the staff because it's so cool. Uh, Fifteen. You no, know, I don't think I'd be able to afford it regardless. Another character. It's so lacking in clothes. It's unfortunate. Let's we'll see what I clicked on that teleported me into a cave of death. I clicked on this dude, I think. I guess we just won't do that. Leaderboard. Daily dungeon. Oh, maybe that was the daily dungeon I just got teleported to. Fascinating. So, now that I'm actually at the thing, uh, I should be able to rotate. Yeah. How cool. Elder one which doesn't have anything at the moment. Very interesting. C -c Combo breaker. All right, uh, lore master. Reset specialization. Oh. Okay. Cool. So you can respec there. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. I think I'm supposed to go to find that brother Leon. Maybe he has something for me. I don't like running around with the spatula thing though. Uh, Father Gernez. Ah, uh, Leon, I'm glad to see you're back without a scratch. Who's the newcomer? Met near the ancient waypoint. It got activated. It's probably by this person's presence, and the old prison has been destroyed. Good riddance, at least they won't follow you here. Okay. Uh, as for you, welcome to Amareth. Feel free to rest here. I seem exhausted. I actually just died. But, um... <laughs> Take these few coins and grab an armor at our merchant store. Oh, man, I should have talked to this guy first. You can also talk to Torvus next to the arena if you want to train. Oh, okay, cool. Man, well, you know, I didn't know clicking on that NPC would teleport me into a cave, though. So, <laughs> I think they might want to fix that. Okay, I'm talking to the merchant. Hoping for free merchandise. I received orders to give you a few items, but they're the last thing you'll ever get for free. And they're dirty. <laughs> Don't hesitate to check out our other items. They're really nice and shiny and better than this crap. Okay, cash up front, no discounts. Ooh. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice pair of trousers there. Thank you, game. Some nice trousers. And, uh... Wow. Uh, he really helped me out there with... <laughs> just basic clothes. Okay. Hmm. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Vomit green clothing. Good to see you again! Uh, Skip in public prison. Yep, special that. Meanwhile, I need you to do stuff. 
Um, so this seems like an escort mission. You told me you defeated the Skull Crusher. And hate the undead are everywhere. So art whenever, way too long. Safety, Leon, the... Okay, excellent. Yeah, talk to Leon when you are... Okay, hold on. I would like a proper sword. Do I have enough money for a sword? I'll take Ashwords for 500. And how come things are so expensive? just want a sword, man. It's like official. I'd even take that. Probably wouldn't be too long until I found something worth a while, though. Um, yeah. I am curious about this inn, though. Um, can I actually enter into this build? No, I can't. Okay. What? Oh. I guess he's like a cleric or something, because he totally just healed me. He's nice. Okay, well... I've been playing this for... How long have I been playing this for? <laughs> Probably about 40 minutes. So far, I mean, for an alpha, this is uh, this is pretty good. I like the combat. The animations are nice. Um, not much for the story at the moment, but they're probably still piecing that together. In fact, if they could get some voice actors, that would be nice too. Um, but I like the feel to it, which is really a big part of the whole thing. I'm going to have to play more to, to figure out uh, the active skills and, and what I really like and um, how all that fits. If I don't know if I'm going to like the passive tree because, again, reminds me of Path of Exile. But, uh, can I open this? No? Okay. Um, the dodge thing is kind of cool, too. Kind of makes you a little lively. And enemies that have very predictable attack patterns if you pay attention, you can avoid some serious damage. Um, but super impressed by this magical staff. <laughs> it's just so cool. There are guns in this world. Did I just take money from from graves? That seems very immoral. Um, but yeah, there's guns, there's bows, and uh, animation for those look really nice too. And uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to how this game shapes up. And uh, also for the added multiplayer. Uh, curious how they're going to handle that. Um, so as far as an early access, as far as a game in alpha... Um, I'd, I'd say shaping up pretty good. His character creation is really nice too, especially you can pick your body type. You're not uh, gender locked into a into a class. Um, I don't think there's really an excuse for games to do that nowadays. So whenever there's a game I was looking at recently, action RPG, uh, that had gender lock class. It's not out yet, but there's a, there's a few few games like this coming out and uh, I think it was like three of the f uh, of the five classes were female and I was like man I'd, I don't think I'd ever buy that game because that means like I wouldn't play I'd only be able to play two classes because I don't play female characters I just um, I always kind of try to put myself in the characters uh, shoes and like role play and things and so I I don't like role-playing females. I find it really weird when guys really like to do that all the time. But anyhow... Uh, yeah. Otherwise, the game looked good. I can't, I'll can't. i throw the title on the screen. Because I can't think of it right now. But... Uh, anyhow, yeah, that's a huge plus. You can pretty much make the character you want. And uh, you're not class bound. I actually like classes, though. Uh, it doesn't really bother me to have to select a class and then get locked into those abilities, you know, like D2. Um, but yeah, a lot of freedom. 
in making the character you want to make and the combat is is really fun let's see Put that lightning bolt here again that's so cool it's just one element <laughs> Um, but yeah, so really good first in, first impression so far of uh, Wolfson. Uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching, and until next time, may the Lord be with thee.